Now for the bent over barbell row. There's two ways you can do this exercise, overhand or underhand. Underhand is going to stimulate the bicep a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate the overhand way for you. We're trying to really focus on the back, so I'm going to try and minimize as much of those secondary muscles as possible. First thing you want to do is make sure that you lift the barbell up safely, so make sure you're lifting with your legs, not just your back. Once you're in that starting position, remember we want that slight bend in the knees, chest out, shoulders back, and then you're going to bend at the waist. We're going to squeeze this barbell into the stomach. Lifting with the legs, chest out, shoulders back. Now we're just squeezing the shoulder blades back and together, back and together. When you do this now, you don't want to be looking around. You want to have that head nice in line with the spine. There's plenty of time to check out the hotties later. Focus on what you're doing. Keep that head in line with the spine. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and together. And you'll get a great back workout here. Common mistake you're going to see is that people don't bend over enough. They're too worried about trying to move that heavy load. It'll be more upright. We don't want that. Get that chest down and over that barbell and squeeze it up. Again, that's the barbell row. I recommend doing a lower rep range, six to eight reps. Keep it a little heavier. Build some nice thickness to that back. The next exercise we're going to do is the Swiss ball cable row. It's a great exercise for those round boys in that middle back. It's pretty simple. All you're going to do is sit on the Swiss ball. We're just going to add in that unstable surface so we'll get a little bit of a core workout. And you're going to pull the cables into the stomach. Make sure you're keeping that real nice posture, chest out, shoulders back. Common mistake people make is they get a big swing in. They try to lean way back. Try to avoid that. Keep those abs nice and tight. Try to let your back angle change too much. So try to keep that back angle consistent. Remember, this isn't really a mass building exercise, so you don't need to go that heavy. 12 to 15 reps at a moderate weight. Don't go any heavier than 50 pounds for a beginner. Really focus on squeezing that back. This is going to be an awesome exercise to help you build that V taper.